I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. This exercise is called Charleston Sprints because we're going to practice making quick decisions during the Charleston. This is a great exercise if you want to play in a tournament or if you want to play online. Either way, you have to make quick decisions. In a tournament, you need to play a 12-minute game. And online, you need to make decisions in 7 or 8 seconds or the game will discard for you. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. I have my smartphone here with a stopwatch app. We're going to do five laps. Laps one, three, and five will be the sprints. Laps two and four will be set up. We're going to alternate between dealer and non-dealer. So we'll get 14 tiles, then 13, then 14, and I'll create a mock Charleston with no jokers for each one. Flower, dragon, four, seven, nine, pair nine in dots, four, five, six in bams with a pair of fours, five, eight in cracks. I think I would go with the predominant pattern, four, five, six, seven, build around the fours. So I would pass these three. We could do five, six, seven, eight, or six, seven, eight, nine, but I think this is stronger. Four, five, four, five, east, let's see, four, five, six, four. Four nine will pass. Eight, I would keep it. Here's a four dragon. Four, five, six, eight. We could pass these. Dragon, flower, one bam, four, five, six. I think I would play the dragon hand and let that go. Four, five, six, dragon. Whoa. No keepers. This is a pretty solid hand. We're one away from set. I'd risk it. No keepers. Five. Well, maybe, but there's a keeper. We can let the five go. Pass two. Lap. Look at that. Kong. Pair, pair. Pung, pung. We're two away from a winning hand. I think that was a fantastic Charleston. This would be a quick winner and maybe even a pure hand. If you would have done something differently, write it in the comments section below with Sprint 1. Okay, flower south, dragons, I would build there. Maybe winds and dragons concealed, or maybe like numbers with ones. I don't pass flowers. We only have two tiles to pass, so I would let go of the winds. Build around the dragons and the ones. No keepers, maybe break that up a little bit. Three, four. We do have one, three, five dragon here. Right there. One, three, five dragon. We'd have to let the flower go though. I think I would focus on like numbers with ones. We got a five and a one. I'd keep the one and let that go. Uh oh, let's see, where are we? Right across, we're on first left. First left, we can pass blind, we'll pass one blind. 
Now we have tiles we can pass. I would pass those in second left. White dragon. We really don't need that though. We need pair pair. Pair pair. So we don't need that. I would risk it. We have a hand with no gaps. One crack. I would pass one blind. No keepers. I'd pass two. Oops. Lap. Two discard, three discards, and a hand. Kong, Pong, pair, pair. We just need help right there. I suppose we could use that and then build here. But this is a hand with no gaps. I think that was a great result. Three discards. If you would have done something different, write it in the comment section below with Sprint 2. Okay, multiples three, five, six. I think three, six, nine looks pretty good. Three, six, nine, but I'd keep the five. So we have five, six, three, four, five, six, and maybe tiles to pass here. Okay, three, four, five, six, or three, six, nine. Three, three, six, nine, right there. Three, six, nine, threes. Two, four, west. Three, four, three, four. Three, four, three, four. Let's let the dragon go. Ones and a west. I don't like passing like numbers. Three, six, nine. I think I'd focus on three, six, nine and let a four go. Let's pass those. White dragon. I would keep it. Okay, three, four. This is where I was thinking three, four. Oh, three dot, no. Okay, so that won't work. I was thinking three, four, three, four dragon. I'd keep the threes for like numbers, a potential there, and maybe pass these three. Focus on threes. Dragon, three. Tiles to pass. Nine, that's a keeper. Fives. Okay, so I would not pass that. I think I would keep the dragon. Let the nine go. We're on last right. I think I would be tempted to maybe focus on like numbers with threes. Let's just pass two. Okay, six. Okay. So, three, six, nine. Two discards. Three, six, nine with threes. We don't have any flowers, but we could maybe play that second hand from the bottom. Or we could do 369 Dragon right here. But we have no flowers. We would need a pair of flowers. We could also do like numbers with threes. If we can get a three bam, that's another gap. So we have a gap hand here. Or we could maybe do three six, oops, three six. Six nine. There's no gaps there, but we'd have to throw away a pung and a pair. I think I'd rather play like numbers. Either that or three six nine with whites. I think what I would do is just keep all these. See if a flower comes in or a three bam. Play three six nine dragon or like numbers with threes and let the sixes go. So we have two discards and two categories. So we have work to do, but there's a really great start with these multiples. And American Mahjong is a game of multiples, so there's hope. Let's see how things went with time.
Whether you want to play in a tournament or play online or even just make quicker decisions to appease the players in your group. Practice Charleston sprints. Get your tiles out and your smartphone with a stopwatch app and test yourself. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click that little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.